Siemens Industry. Storage and retrieval machines using LAP as an example. When designing the storage and retrieval machines, the Siemens Industrial Logic specialists running the project had to master two essential challenges. The road cement floors of the warehouse area could only be subject to low tensile forces. And on the other hand, the surface area available had to be optimally used. Using special approach and braking distances and their associated monitoring, tensile forces were able to be minimized. Further, the whole surface area was able to be optimally utilized with the storage and retrieval machines that are designed for operation without requiring intermediate storage. With the exception of the load suspension equipment, Siemens used the same components for the small parts warehouse and pallet stacker cranes. This allowed spare part stocking to be optimized. An RFID reader on the hoisting tables of the machines ensures that in spite of the 75,000 storage locations, the correct product is always transported. The two antenna connections of the Siemens readers allow data to be read at both sides or can be used with double load suspension equipment. The complete engineering, going beyond sections of the system and their boundaries, is unique. As only Siemens components were used, the storage and retrieval device control boxes located outside were able to be integrated into the conveyor control system. Only Siemens can offer such a unique solution. Wireless LAN-based data transfer integrates all of the operating devices. Not only are the travel commands and camera images transferred, but also all of the safety-relevant signals, for example, the emergency stop signal. This eliminates having to use conductor rails and in turn reduces maintenance costs. It goes without saying that the latest generation of Synamics Profinet inverters were used. These set themselves apart as a result of the excellent control response. Drive-click encoders ensure optimum connection to the inverters. Energy recovery when braking is one factor. Energy management for the complete facility was only able to be realized after evaluating the energy usage and controlling the acceleration profile of the storage and retrieval machines. Siemens geared motors complete the drivetrain to create a single entity. Switching the storage and retrieval machines into the standby mode is a unique feature. Reducing energy costs is actually an accumulation of small savings from many different areas.